Hi, I'm Keegan Longuera and I've just finished the trip from Cairo to Cape Town on my bicycle inside world record time, 59 days, 8 hours and 15 minutes. I just wanted to share a little bit about my story and how God provided for me on the trip and how it got me through times where I didn't really think I was going to make it out alive. Uh, so on about the fourth day, my knee started, started giving out, my, uh, both my Achilles tendons were starting to give me trouble, really heavy tendonitis, I couldn't even straighten my foot. So it was just like all these things piled on top of me and I was really stressing about the next day and I went to bed and I remember praying and saying, God, if I wake up tomorrow and I can cycle, it will be a miracle. And I, I, was, I just sent prayer requests home and asking people to just pray for me. And I prayed that night and I said, God, if, if this is what I need to go through, I'll go through it. And again, that release of everything, surrendering to God. And I woke up the next morning in Aswan in the, in the hotel. And, uh, you know, I remember moving my foot as I got out of bed. I just, I just moved my foot and it straightened and there was absolutely no pain. And I thought, no, this, you, you got to be kidding me. I mean, this, this was probably one of the worst Achilles uh, tendon injuries I've ever had. And then I just tried to move the other foot, knowing that surely the other foot would be injured still. And I moved that foot and there was completely, there was no pain in both the feet. <clears throat> and um, I got on the bike to, to cycle the 300 kilometers and there was no pain in my knee. It was just the strength and my body just seemed to come together and I was working. And then I thought about Abraham and how Abraham, God asked him after everything he had been through to take his son and sacrifice him. And uh, it was just phenomenal for me to realize that Abraham didn't know that he was going to get his son back. That he was handing his son over to God and whatever God did, he was going to trust God with that. So eventually I got to a place in the middle of Egypt, in the middle of the desert, where I was down on my knees and I just said to God, God, this is yours. I don't care about the world record. I don't care about my bicycle. I don't care about my health. I don't care about my safety. I don't care about anything. This is yours and I will do what you want me to do. I'll turn left if you say turn left. I'll turn right where you tell me to turn right. And I just prayed for the strength to push through. And like, uh, I, just, I just had this feeling that God was putting me through things, things that I needed to go through to break through on the other side. And it was almost interesting for me to come through Egypt and then the breaking through on the other side was a new country. That was Sudan, the, the country that people were worrying about the most, the most unsafe country, they said, uh, the place where the, the Muslim terrorist was, was happening all around me. But uh, people said that it was going to be dangerous. But God had other plans. So I went into Sudan and my first day in Sudan, after all the knee injuries, after all the Achilles tendons, which had been healed by then, after I'd handed over everything to God, I cycled 300 kilometers, one of the, the, the biggest day I did in the trip. And it was just incredible. It, it felt like I was being pushed by God and I was just being carried by God the whole way. And it was just an incredible story of God's strength and not mine. In my greatest weakness, God was strong.